This is Dr. Jonathan Hansen, President of World Ministries International. And I want to welcome you to the Warning Television Program. November 19, 2017, I was in Kenya. I actually went to Kenya three times last year. And uh, over a prophecy was one of the reasons that God had given me clear back in 1992. One was for the president, which I got to him, and the second was for the nation. Actually, they're on now their fifth and final point of the nation's prophecy. Again, I mentioned November 19, 2017, I was at not only Kenya, but I was in the largest church in Kenya, my friend Bishop Arthur Kitonga, Archbishop Kitonga, actually, as he's over 2,000 churches, the Redeemed Gospel churches in Kenya, and I was at the headquarters church in Uruuma. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kenya is in serious trouble. Only the church can bring peace to Kenya. Only the church can bring peace to any nation in prosperity. But uh, as the prophecy explains, the church has greatly failed to that extent, as the church has greatly failed in America. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is always hope. There is always hope. If the church can have a revival, can wake up, and once again usher its rightful influence in a nation. I spoke in South Korea, the World Holy Spirit Conference, that the purpose of God through his church is to reveal his glory over all the earth. Psalm 72, 19. Genesis 1, 26 and 28, Matthew 28, 19 and 20, Luke 19, 13 and Matthew 5, 13. God tells Christians to take dominion, subdue, be salt, occupy, and make disciples of the inhabitants of the earth. If Korea, now I'm reading from what I spoke in Korea, how to move mountains, the warrior uses their nuclear weapons. And I shared once again that if Korea and the rest of the world is going to be filled with the glory of the Lord, Christians must understand they are at war with Satan. See, that's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. We are at war. God versus Satan, angels versus demons, righteous men versus evil men, under the influence of evil spirits and we are again under the influence of the holy spirit and genesis tells us there's at odds there's war against each other there's enmity there's hatred the, the seed of satan hates you and i that's why at times we get an instant manifestation from a person that has spirits inside of them so i was at the largest church in uhuma uh, i was told in three services they have forty thousand preaching and I have a newspaper here. It says, Five Dead in Day of Chaos, Saturday, the Nation. And so, ladies and gentlemen, five dead. Now, the day I was preaching, they actually said six people had died that morning. I was uh, ushered in, and on my way out, uh, there was a van filled with police and soldiers ushering me out. As when I was preaching inside, they were shooting tear gas outside. So you can see that type of turmoil, that type of uh, where uh, the enemy brings destruction in a nation. So I would urge you, do what you can to occupy your nation. The Bible tells us again, be salt, uh, subdue, occupy, make disciples, take dominion. Now we know that it's through the Holy Spirit as we do our part and Terry, Terry, you know, when Jesus ascended, ascended, he said, go, Terry. And so you have the authority now to make disciples. The church is trying to make disciples in nations. The church is trying to influence nations uh, without the power of the Holy Spirit. And, and, and that's impossible. Uh, without the God in you, the power of God in you, uh, we find it impossible to bring influence in a nation because the enemy uh, comes against us too mightily. And uh, there's too much hatred and violence. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. That dunamis released power, that energy, comes through relationship with God, comes with submission to His Word, time with God. As we spend enough time with God, we think like God, our character becomes like God, and the power inside of us increases as God is becoming stronger. Again, this is now the second of four 
messages, four weeks of messages. Let's go back and continue where we left off in Kenya right now. This nation needs repentance. This nation needs to repent. The members of parliament, all sides, need to repent. The members in the parliament guilty of all sorts of sin and crimes. God is tired of the hypocrisy. He's tired of the sin. Say amen. Say amen. Unless we come together, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Starting with the church. I'm talking about all through Kenya, different denominations. Second Chronicles seven. When the church comes together, repenting before God of their hypocrisy, uniting as kingdom with men and women, not led by bishops that will ask you like in 2008 to attack. Kill somebody. A tribalistic pastor or bishop urging you to kill somebody. That type of bishop or pastor, or should I say hyena? Needs to repent. Needs to become really a man of God. Can you say amen? Say amen. The hypocrisy has got to end. The hypocrisy has got to end. It's time the church leads the nation to peace. Just Moses, 
Amen. Amen. I met you actually in the 80s. I don't know if you remember. But I remember you. Only the church can bring peace. You have 2,000 churches in the redeemed. More is it more? More? About 2,000. Let me tell you. Jesus said 12. The redeemed can bring peace. In this nation. Come on! You've got to believe it! The redeemed churches can bring peace to every area of this nation. The redeemed churches alone can bring peace. Is that God in you, the Holy Spirit? That dunamis released energy, that power. Churches to save Kenya. You, you, you've got to understand what I'm saying and you've got to believe it because the, the time of, of half acceptance is over. If we don't heal this nation, if the church does heal this nation, you're on the verge of civil war. The time to play games is over. The church must heal the nation. Come on, say it up. The church must heal Kenya. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I take about 20 trips a year into the nations. We reached the world every day by mass media, radio, and television. That's because we are in a battle. We are in war. God is at war with Satan. The angels are at war with demons. We are at war with evil men that are influenced by evil spirits. Not the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about spiritual war. Truth takes away deception. Prayer brings conviction. As I was challenging Korea, at the World Holy Spirit Conference, when Jesus ascended, he said for you and I to go and make disciples. If we make disciples, if we take the million, Psalm 72, 19, to the church, he reveals his glory over all the earth. So Genesis 1, 26 and 28, Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Luke 19, 13. And Matthew 5, 13. God exhorts you now. Take the million. Subdue. Be strong. Occupy. And make disciples of every person in the world. If we follow that great commission, then we will have godly leaders. Then Kenya will have peace. Then Kenya will prosper. We're having the same problem in America. Donald Trump, Donald Trump gave us a reprieve. We've had years of bad leadership. Trying to attack the foundation of Christianity. Trying to remove 
move God out of the nation. Supporting alternate lifestyles. Abortion, homosexuality. Same-sex marriage. All religions except for Jesus Christ. The church finally understood how serious it was. We were about ready to lose our Christian heritage. We were about ready to lose the Constitution, the Bill of Rights.
by members of the church of Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are the greatest days for you and I to live. I was born for this day. I'm not afraid of it. I've had people try to kill me more than once. I've had to rise up to attack and freeze and can't move. I've had one person make threats and he fell over dead. Nobody can touch you unless God loves you. Nobody can touch you unless God loves you. in my meeting, especially a giant one that's in my meetings night after night all over the world people see it. And I wish we had time to tell you some stories of angels. I have a sermon that shows how men, angels, and the Holy Spirit work together to take nations. It's powerful. There are angels here right now. Right now. There are angels in this church right now. They had written down everything I said in my sermon. And when it was all over six hours later, I said, Lord, what were they writing? He said they were writing down everything you said behind the pulpit. They're in every church. I sent my witnesses. And on Judgment Day, my two holy witnesses will stand up and either vindicate or condemn the person preaching if they twist the word of God. You know, the Bible says, don't add or subtract as you condemn. Last week I was in Dallas speaking to 500 of the top apostles of the world. And I always warn leadership. Now these men were over millions and millions of churches. Let's be careful. Don't twist the word of God. Don't try to make it more acceptable. Don't compromise the word of God. Just be representing God Himself as an ambassador. The word of God is powerful for conviction and repentance. But if you change it in your vanity, there's no salvation, no repentance. Because out of your vanity, you thought you were. More than God and how to speak to people. Amen. 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 We need a righteous, a righteous respect for God. We need a righteous respect for the Word of God. Morning television and radio programs are means by which Dr. Jonathan Hansen, through World Ministries International, WMI, endeavor to prepare God's people, governments, and society for the soon coming day of Christ the Lord. Dr. Hansen's free monthly newsletter is another means by which this is done. This is sent out in paper hard copy as well as in digital email formats. You can telephone 360-629-5248 360-629-5248 to request your subscription today 
or visit www.worldministries.org. That is www.worldministries.org and click on the Contact Us link. WMI is a 100% partner-supported ministry. It is through tithes, missions, love offerings, and donations given to WMI that Dr. Hansen is able to share the warning message to church leadership, political leaders, and society as a whole. World Ministries International needs the committed support of people who see the increasing relevance of the warning message to be shared in this time we are in. Are you a prayer warrior with an intercessor's anointing and have a burden for Dr. Jonathan Hansen and World Ministries International? If so, we need to hear from you so that we can unite together in strategy and prayer. Telephone 360-629-5248, 360-629-5248, and request to become a member of the Soldiers of the Cross prayer team. Or visit www.worldministries.org and sign up to be a member of Soldiers of the Cross through the prayer and intercessor links on the website. The Lord told Dr. Hansen that there are 200,000 supporting newsletter recipients and 2,000 supporting intercessors in every nation that are there to join in the battle and sounding the alarm to the people and nations. Please join the ranks of those who seek to fight on behalf of the truths of God's Word with the prosperity, liberty, and freedoms it brings. For any monthly commitment of $25 or more, a partner will receive Dr. Hansen's monthly newsletter and one week's warning radio message on CD or cassette tape. For any monthly commitment of $100 or more, a partner will receive four of Dr. Hansen's warning television programs on DVD, in addition to the warning radio program on CD and the monthly newsletter. Please understand that no materials sent by Dr. Jonathan Hansen and WMI are distributed as a result of a purchase, but are shared with recipients as Dr. Hansen's way of saying thank you for your support. You can support WMI by using Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover by dialing 360-629-5248, 360-629-5248. Again, dial 360-629-5248. You can send a check or money order in U.S. dollars to World Ministries International, P.O. Box 277, Stanwood, Washington, 98292. Again, that's World Ministries International, P.O. Box 277, Stanwood, Washington, 98292. Shalom, and may the Lord richly bless you.